Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2023 video tutorial. This will be sort of a remake, not especially an Inventor, but of a Katia NX or Solid Edge video. And I want to show you two ways of many more how you could do this part. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, so let's start with a sketch, maybe on the XY plane. I will need four circles, so let's start with one right there at the origin. And the diameter should be 40. I need another one with a diameter of 32. And I need one with diameter of 140 and another one with 130. Now let's add some dimensions and some constraints. So this center point should be aligned with that one vertical and the distance between those two should be 72. Now let's move those circles a little bit, maybe like that. So they're almost in the correct position and then add some tangent constraints. So like this, over here, over there and here. Now let's go for a trim. This could be trimmed away. Also this here at the bottom and this one and that one. Finish that sketch. And now let's make an extrude. Make it symmetric. Make it 10 millimeters. That's okay. And confirm. Now I want to use a shell. It should go to the inside. I want to have a thickness of 10 millimeters. And I want to remove this face and the face on the back side. You can turn it around or just wait here for a little while and choose the face here and confirm with OK. Now in order to reuse that sketch just right click and go for reuse where is it or share the sketch now with the same sketch i can do another extrude that's the only available one so it should be selected automatically and in this case i want it to be symmetric and i want to go for five millimeter Let's hide the sketch. I need another sketch on the same plane as before. So let's go for the XY plane. Cut the graphics and another circle right here. And diameter should be 40. Finish that sketch again, make another extrude and make it again symmetric and I want to go for 20 millimeters. Now as my sketches are not really depending on one another apart from the first one you can reorder those features so I can reorder this one up there and now I can move my end of part up here. Let's Add the fillets. This should be 8 millimeter on this edge here and on that edge here. Confirm. Move the end of part here. And now what's missing? Just a hole. So go for the whole feature. Select the face. Select this edge as reference. And should, should go through all, yes, and the diameter should be 20 millimeters. 
So that would be the first version for this part. Now a different way to model this part would be using surfaces and that thicken feature. In order to use the same sketches I want to delete the features without the consumed sketches and features. So let's confirm this. Which leaves me here with a work plane. That's quite interesting because I think that work plane was used for the hole here. Because I didn't create it myself. So let's delete this one and you will see that sketch was for the hole and it's consumed and dependent. So I want to delete this one as well. Which leaves me with two sketches. This one here and that one. Okay, that's nice. Now I want to go for surfaces. So let's fill this shape here with a patch. Like that. And confirm. Then I will need to cut it with this one here. So let's go for the trim and I want to trim the surface here with that one or that curve like this and I want to remove this side here and confirm. Now that sketch, this one I need once more so make it visible. And I will need the second one as well. Like that. Now I can go for an extrude with that sketch here. It should be symmetric, it should be 10 millimeters, and it should be a surface, surface mode. And confirm. Now Another extrude with this one. Symmetric, yes, but 20 millimeters. And now I can thicken those surfaces. So let's thicken first this surface here. I want to go for a quilt like this. It should be 10 millimeters and it it's to the inside, yes, that's okay. So let's confirm this or go for a plus. Now select that surface here. Go again for 10 millimeter, that's okay. Go for another plus and I could join those surfaces. Okay. Now I can do those fillets here. So let's close this one out. Go for the fillet, 8 millimeters, yes, on this surface here, and that surface. Okay, and a last thicken here, make it to both sides, make it 5 millimeters in total. And again, unite it. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this remake in Inventor. It's not a remake, but it's a first one because I did it only, I think, in Solid Edge, Siemens NX and Katia. Anyway, these are very old videos, so a remake would be appropriate anyway. So. If you did like it, please give it a like, leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me also on Instagram, Facebook and Grabcat. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.